I'm the dog. All right. Reeks. 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 Lots, lots, lots. The marshmallow land. So with, so with the troopers, a lot of times we like the dual purpose dogs because we work by ourselves for the most part. You can put the dog in a down if you're dealing with a, a violent felon, someone you're afraid of, someone that you know you go to arrest them, they're going to fight you. I can bring the dog out of the car, I can put him down at my front tire, and I can tell this guy, hey, this is what I'm going to do. I need you to put your hands behind your back. If you do anything other than what I tell you to do, the dog's going to bite you. Plain and simple. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> and, even, and even from this distance, I can stand here, and if he wants to argue or fight, I can just tell the dog, fuss. <laughs> it's really cool if he's not on slick floors. Oh, yeah. Good boy. Good boy. No. Uh -uh. No. 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 Okay, knock him over. Any, are there any questions or anything about anything you want to see before I put the dog away and then I come in and answer the question? I just want to see knock West down. No. He, can't, he can't do it on these slick floors. Let's get some carpet he can dig in on. No, we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good. I'll put it on video. No, that's all right. Yeah, Can we go outside? Can we go outside? Please. 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 Yeah. Oh. I don't want to get the suit dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it's already dirty. We want to see it. It's all set up for a banquet. Oh, okay. We won't mess up. We got lawn out front. That's about it. Work How many really wants to see him outside? <laughs> and a lot of times that will stimulate their, their drive and make him search a little harder for the for the toy. <laughs> To see that. Can you see the change in the dog's behavior? I mean, the dog, he may not look like he's searching, but <laughs> he may not look like he's searching because his nose isn't right up to the locker. He's just walking along, but he's still, every time he's breathing, he's, you know, he's smelling. Once he gets that odor, he'll go directly to it. Good boy. Here. We'll do it one more time.
So, do you find yourself playing with your wife and kids like this? What's that? Do you find yourself playing with your wife and kids like this? I do. <laughs> High pitched voice. And, yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, good boy. Thanks. Any questions about the searching indication? Anything you observe while you watch the demo? Pretty obvious, pretty simple, you know. Dog searches for an odor. Um, basically, when you, when you have a narcotics dog, you have two different types of indication. Once the dog finds the drugs, they will either be a passive indication, which means they will just sit and stare into the area of the drug odor, or they will go to the, the, the strongest source of the odor and they will aggressively scratch. Some of our dogs will bite and, and do whatever they can to get to that strongest source. Duke has a, a, an aggressive indication. So we'll, we'll demonstrate on this wall, um, and then I'm gonna have you guys step back from the, from the machines, because I'm gonna bring him along this wall, and then uh, you guys can just watch when he gets into odor, you guys will you'll be able to see, and uh, we'll go from there. And the dog, you know, I can point places, and he'll go there, and he'll sniff there. He's not going to scratch there unless there's drug odor there. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I got that. They hit the button. Are, are you wet someplace beside your. Oh, never mind. Yeah! Oh!